This modification to the SciTech yoke uses zip ties and springs that we bought from a home improvement store. The springs will attach to the center shaft and these four screw posts. Note, modifying the SciTech yoke will void the warranty. However, if you purchased the yoke over a year ago, the warranty has already expired. Before we start, we're assuming you've already removed the pitch spring and swing arms as shown in the disassembly video. You can leave the roll return spring in place for this mod, or if you want less resistance, you can remove it. You'll notice that I've removed it for this video. Credit for this idea should go to Tom Grumko, who published this method on the AvSim forum. The springs we are using are from Home Depot. The item number is in the show notes. It costs less than four US dollars. This package comes with four springs, but we will only use the larger two. If you can't find these springs exactly, find ones with a similar load limit, about 2.4 pounds. So let's get started. Rotate the yoke so the back of the control housing is facing you. It's best to prop up the yoke on some boards or something. Locate these horns on the center shaft, and specifically locate this small gap in the plastic structure. Use a drill and a 1 8 inch drill bit to make a hole right through that small gap. Repeat on the other side. A 1 8 inch hole should be large enough for these mini zip ties. The springs will loop over the screw posts on the left side and the right side and attach to the center shaft. Unfortunately, the springs tend to slide off of the screw posts while we're working on them. So use a small file to create a groove in the plastic. This file is actually three-sided. It's really handy for this. The groove we're making faces the back of the yoke. For this screw post, file a groove on the front side towards the yoke handle. The spring stretches easily between the posts. and it fits nicely in the groove. When you work on this post, be very careful not to damage the circuit board or any wiring here. It's okay to take your time with this step. Now we want to attach the horn on the center shaft to the exact center of the springs. I used calipers to determine the middle point of the spring. You don't have to use calipers. You can measure carefully or you can even count the strands on the spring to determine the middle. Mark the middle three strands with a sharpie. and then remove the spring. The spring can be a little hard to hold on to, so use a zip tie to hold the ends while you fold it over like this. Look for the mark you made and use a small screwdriver to loop under those three strands on the spring. Then loop a zip tie under those same three strands.
and remove the screwdriver. This green zip tie was just temporary and we're going to cut it off now. Stretch the spring between the two screw posts again. Loop the zip tie through the hole you drilled in the horn. And attach the zip tie like this. Repeat this process on the other side. Now tighten both zip ties all the way. Clip off the excess from the zip ties. Replace the lid and try it out. Hold down the yoke housing with one hand. Note how easy it is to make small pitch changes when you don't have to struggle against that center detent. You may notice some noise coming from the springs if you are making large control inputs. But if you're otherwise happy with the results, reattach the control housing. There are 14 screws. And give it a test flight.